Okay, so on this map, usually you'll come up and then invis right behind this pillar, and that's your standard opener. You line sight whoever is coming, and then you go invis. Unless it's a team, if you're playing MLS and a team can stop your gate, you want to stop the you want to stop the stop. So toss. Okay, so a lot of the times the enemy healer is gonna be like lining right here on this pillar, uh, like just around there, and then your healer is gonna be right where this guy is, and you're gonna be fighting across the bridge, and that's standard as fuck. That's gonna happen every time. Uh, and yeah, and here's the enemies, whatever, they're right there, and they're just fucking you. Let's say the warrior. Let's say the red is warrior. And green is hunter. And then purple is nothing. Okay. So I'm getting fucked up by the warrior. Hunter's shooting me. Worst thing you can do, especially if you're playing MLS, is to come back to your healer. And stand next to your healer and pull back. If you pull back, you're gonna get double stunned by the warrior. And, uh, you're just gonna get cleaved down, basically. So you wanna stay out in the open. You always wanna stay about 20 yards. When the hunter comes up to trap your healer, it'll be really obvious. He's gonna come in, in scatter range. You trap your healer. He's gonna scatter trap. You just blink either trap. Very easy. Like, over and over throughout the whole game. Now, to push up to them, you kind of have to push up as a team. Say, I'm pushing up, I'm pushing up. Your healer comes up. If the hunter goes backwards, you eat the you eat the trap. If he doesn't go backwards, you can keep pushing up and get a pump sheep. Pump ring or whatever. And then go hunter. Um. Yeah. The ramps they added are really good. I'm glad they added these. So basically, it's just like a constant... I'm going to push up and try to CC their healer. They're going to push up and try to CC our healer. Back and forth. Um, yeah, when, so, so when I'm pushing up, the hunter should try to stop the sheep, right? And then, when the hunter pushes up, I need to eat the trap. Back and forth, I mean, that's pretty much it, you're just gonna play mid-bridge most of the map. If you guys are in big trouble, you can call out for a jump and you just jump down, and it's usually really good to loss, like, right here. Or go to a pillar, and run around pillar as a whole team, you guys run as a unit, like, run as an entire team. Uh, and then back. Yes, holy fuck, thank you, Zart, don't bring the enemy on top of your healer. Yeah, so you don't want to have a warrior on top of your healer. You want to keep them away. Healers can heal a lot, as long as you keep them out of CC, don't line of sight them, and don't fuck them over with positioning. Like, if you bring the- if you- if you kite the warrior, be like, oh, I'm just gonna line, I'm just gonna line. If you're gonna line, at least bring them to this pillar. Or like, or like, jump down and line. Like, don't- don't bring them on top of your healer. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's about it for this map. I mean, the, most most teams will play top, but like if you're playing bottom, it's kind of the same thing on bottom. Uh, it might be something like I don't know. Bottom's honestly something more like healers here, and then healers here. This is usually how bottom goes, and then like the fight is like right about here, and then one healer's where that blue is, and then one healer's where the yellow is, and he, I mean the yellow can come around to the other side. Uh, like this, but it's usually worse because uh, it's in the blue line of sight. So usually yellow is standing uh, like right here. So to get CC, I mean it's the same shit as always. You're just gonna be running back and forth. But you blink. Uh, hold on, blink sign up. Instead of like blinking and just trying to sheep, you blink line of sight both of them and then sheep from here with a deep freeze, uh, or you can just palm sheep too. And yeah, so I mean that's what you do, and you still want to lose your healer. So the healer's gonna be it here, on blue. You always have to keep in mind healer. That's why I think it's important to play a healer, even if you're not good at it. Just to get an understanding of, to not line. So the healer can actually come up like this. This is like a really good spot to play at. Like this, this spot has the advantage, I think. And uh, and heal you. So like any anywhere in line is, is good here. You just don't wanna like, say you're like, oh dude, I'm getting fucked. And like, you're stunned and you just blink here. You completely line your healer, you're fucked. Your healer has to come all the way around or like jump. He's gonna get CC'd. 100% your healer is going to get CC if you come under the bridge. So like you just want to keep in mind, stay here, don't line your healer. If you're in trouble, blink. Instead of under the bridge or something, you just want to blink up to your healer and, and run up this way. So much better. You don't want to run like away from your healer. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty simple.